Hey y'all, it's Shay Seeking from American Aborigines Unchained um, here on YouTube and at Facebook. And you know, I just wanted to go ahead and do a little video. I wanted to watch this with y'all real quick. You know, I had to excuse the background because I had to bring the PC upstairs and do a couple things. But, you know, I just want to go ahead and watch this with y'all real quick. Um, you know, it, it's been, it take me, you know, it's been taking me like two days to watch this video. Um, because every time I just get so angry. Okay. So let's go ahead and just watch it together. A year ago, we were hit with a virus that was met with silence and spread unchecked. Denials for days, weeks, then months. That led to more deaths. Okay. First of all, was it really unchecked or is that just what they're saying? <laughs> is this what they're saying or is it, was it really unchecked? Is, is there really even a such thing? More infections, more stress, and mm -hmm. more loneliness. Mm -hmm. Photos and videos from 2019 mm -hmm. feel like they were taken in another era. Mm -hmm. The last vacation, the last birthday with friends, mm -hmm. the last holiday with extended family. While it was different for everyone, we all lost something. Mm -hmm. A collective suffering, a collective sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Um, hold on. A collective suffering and a collective sacrifice. Okay. So I just wonder what the sacrifice is at the end of all of this. And <laughs> here fill with the loss of life mm -hmm. and the loss of living for all of us. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to figure out what it was though. I, I'm trying to figure out what it was, you know, and you know, we have to be real with ourselves. We could look at a couple of different things that it could be. I know it was the breath of God. <laughs> That's what I know. But we have to look at this as if, is this the breath of God that is geared towards affecting and afflicting these officials? Was it the breath of God sent to get the, ch get the attention of his children? Again, to each his own. I ain't telling you what it is or what it ain't. I'm just simply sharing what it looks like to me and y'all can do what you want with it. Or was this just a wake-up call for the whole world in general? But in the loss, we saw how much there was to gain mm -hmm. in appreciation, mm -hmm. respect, and gratitude. Mm -hmm. Finding light in the darkness. Mm -hmm. A little bit of get right, basically. <laughs> a little bit of get some get right right um and then also we we're making reference to light in the darkness in the dark winter <laughs> is a very american thing to do is it? in fact it may be the most american thing we do mm -hmm. fueling the next generation through grow up great one way hold on that's loud And that's what we've done. We've seen front line in the center. Hold on, I got to see what he said. Yeah, we do. And that's what we've done. Wait, what do we do? Very American thing to do. What is the American thing to do? An appreciation, respect, and gratitude. Mm -hmm. Finding light in the darkness mm -hmm. is a very American thing to do. Is it? In fact, it may be the most American thing we do. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done. Mm -hmm. We've seen frontline and essential workers risking their lives, sometimes losing them, mm -hmm. to save and help others. Mm -hmm. And there was also a lot of people risking their lives going into the hospitals that were in certain areas. Maybe like New York, that um, a lot of these people weren't really sick. A lot of these people could have really survived. So we still have to ask the question as to what was going on. Do we just really get a pass here? Do they really just get a, do they just get to turn things back on and we just okay with it? 
I, I mean, because. Oh, why do I have to feel like? Why do I have to feel like I have to monitor what I'm saying? Why do I feel like I have to? It's so hard for me not to just be me. Because I'm thinking of other people that have walked with me during this journey, that have had good intentions, that have walked with us. Um, despite being led by different entities and energies, um, some to force us to comply to certain measures that most of us don't even understand, you know, to comply with things. And so, again, I know that there's an energy here. I know that there's an energy here that wants right for us. I know that there's an energy and a presence here. Um, but I know that there's also other in, um, energies and entities that are here that I feel as though, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back in the book again. I'm back in the Bible, you know, and I'm back in, you know, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm back in Exodus and Genesis. And it just seems like we're just going through, um, you know, I know most say that these are records of things that are to come, but it's also, you know, feeling like a thing that's repeating itself, you know, in a sense. And, you know, just all through all of the emotions I've been going through after, you know, um, receiving a message the other day that I felt was just the first time that I ever heard anything that might have been close to a father or uh, a, a God Okay, a living God, um, father figure, you know, that was, uh, I, I posted on my um, page the other day that kind of just, you know, automatically brought me to my knees and let me know that there is a presence here. You know, um, no matter how we look at these uh, things when it comes to religion, um, I'm not religious at all. I read the Bible <laughs> and I have a different type of understanding of the word. And so, and, and um, looking at that in history, so, you know, for me, I, I want to honor, obey that God. I want to, it's just like an automatic thing that, oh, why do I have such a dark time speaking? Um, you know, and for the first time in my life, I felt as though, okay, now this <laughs> would be a message that I would hear from my father, right? And it was kind of scary, but it was exciting because I felt as though I made a breakthrough. I had been waiting for this day for my entire life. But it still comes with a lot of pain, a lot of pressure, <laughs> a lot of get right, <laughs> um, a lot of growth. And, you know, when I hear a message like this, I want to just go ahead and just listen to it and say, Let's make everything okay. Let's make it all better. And just turn away from it. But it's just hard. It's hard. Like I said, I've been telling you guys that before, that I felt that this is the breath of God. That's what this thing was that, that we experienced. That's all I knew. I just knew that that was, okay, at, at some point in time, I felt as though this was something that someone did put out. Okay, when it first happened, but as it went on to see all of the inconsistencies and the things that just didn't make any sense, I said, this has to be some other workings that they're covering up. And we all have lost people, you know, 
But we can't let go of the fact that a lot of these people were lost at the hands of a lot of these institutions that didn't even have to die. Maybe didn't even die of COVID. You know, a lot of these people didn't even die of that. There were other things. And so when he's saying these sacrifices that they've made and we do the body count of what has happened and we know about trafficking and we know about these things, then how is it that we can say, okay, everything's done. <laughs> you know, let's just go back to the way things were, even though we know that a lot of the stuff that came along with, you know, depending uh, that came along with this thing, this nothing, even though a lot of things that came along with this nothing that encompassed the land or the world. I have to wonder how can These people continue to get away with things like this. You know? When does it end? When do we say enough is enough? Now, I know I'm reading in this chapter, it seems as though some people might have been freed from slavery in a sense. But again, I haven't seen anything. You know, I haven't seen anything signed and sealed and delivered. I haven't heard in the Again, I haven't been looking at the media any big talks about, you know, if I want to go with that narrative as if this has happened, you know, I just like to be very, I like to tread carefully when I'm reading the text, right? And I might be a little rebellious and I might not know all the answers and I might not know it all, but, you know, it reminds me of the plagues. It reminds me of the plagues. And I'm just so confused as to reading this, as to who the plagues are for, who is the Pharaoh? Who is the Lord? Who is, you know, I'm just all over the place right now, y'all, because I just don't know even where to go with this. I have so many different things and so many different avenues that are on my mind, but I just don't see how these people can get away with mass murder. De besides the fact of, hmm, see, hmm. maybe I, 